I'm Mike Song, and this is my 54321. Alright, Mike Song, what's up, man? What's up? Number five. What are your five favorite Korean stereotypes? Dang! First, that we're all angry. Angry Korean syndrome is one. Second, what's another Korean stereotype? That we all love kimchi. Uh, that we're all like really um, proud to be Korean, like super proud. Fourth favorite Korean stereotype? Dang, I don't know. That we all listen to K-pop? <laughs> that our last name is Kim? All right, four. Four things you love or hate about living with Jay Bueno and Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this is a good one. First thing I love, I always wake up to the smell of goodness in our house. That's probably the, the first thing I love. Second thing, there's always talks about um, how we can improve our house. No matter what, I always wake up to that. We are always trying to soup up our house, especially Anthony. Oh, what else do I love living about with these guys? What do I hate? Oh, one thing I hate about living with Bueno and Anthony is that they never want to turn on the heater. And it's hella cold in our house, so I want to freaking turn on the heater. Fourth thing is we always play one player video games, all three of us, and we just sit and take turns and Google strategy guys while the other person is playing. So, three reasons why Naruto is better than Dragon Ball Z. Oh, easy! Oh my gosh. Uh, first reason is that there is a character depth and like a connection to like deep rooted meanings in life. Not that Dragon Ball Z doesn't have deep rooted meanings, but I think you have to like really, really dig for those meanings in Dragon Ball and really, really analyze it. Whereas in Naruto, it's like very obvious life lessons that are being portrayed and shown. So that's like the obvious one. Uh, number two is just the way that fighting is broken up. In Dragon Ball Z, fighting pretty much is just based on calculated energy levels and who has the bigger fireball. But uh, in, in Naruto, it's completely different. There's all different types of fighters. There's like intellectual fighters, naturally skilled fighters, fighters that have to work really, really, really hard that don't have any natural skill, which ties in with like deep rooted like life lessons. So the fighting is much more well thought out in Naruto. And the third thing that's way better in Naruto, probably just the fact that um, it like constantly like goes and digs deep into like the history of like characters and so there's a bunch of moments where you're like oh what that's so-and-so's descendants brother damn <laughs> and it just keeps going there two what are your two most memorable moments on ellen first is just like seeing my mom just hella like just go through just all that just all that combined into one i guess is one like my mom just being all like super giddy about it and just having fun with that number two is probably when i told my mom that I was going on Ellen again and instead of her going oh congratulations my mom's all what without me <laughs> yeah what what is the best face to make while performing behind the Kinja's mask <laughs> <laughs> hi I'm Mike Song and I just survived five four three two one <laughs> <laughs>